This prehistoric rodent is just one of more than a thousand new species discovered in Southeast Asia's Mekong region in just the last decade. That's according to a new report by the World Wildlife Fund. The report highlights 519 new plants, 279 fish, 88 frogs, 88 spiders, 46 lizards, 22 snakes, 15 mammals, 4 birds, 2 salamanders, and a toad. It's quite an amazing number. I mean, basically averages to two new species per week. So it gives you an idea of just how much biodiversity there is in the region. The species were all found in the rainforests and wetlands along the Mekong River, which flows through Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, and the southern Chinese province of Yunnan. Ironically, because of the history of conflict, it's ended up being quite undiscovered. Some of the most otherworldly creatures include a hot pink millipede that produces cyanide. There's also the world's largest huntsman spider with a leg span of nearly a foot, a rabbit that looks like it borrowed its fur coat from a tiger, and a species of pit viper first noted by scientists after it was found in the rafters of a restaurant at the headquarters of Thailand's Khao Yai National Park. But it's the sheer number of these discoveries that's most surprising. I think what happens with a lot of our field researchers and our conservation scientists when they discover new species is. This, this sense of disbelief that you've actually found a new species. So there's a lot of conversation with, within the community of, you know, these are the characteristics, these are the markings, this is what it looks like, and have you heard of one before? And not all the species were found hiding in remote jungles. The Loatian rock rat was first encountered being sold as dinner at the local food market in 2005. What's even more amazing, the rodent was thought to have become extinct 11 million years ago. But the excitement of these findings is tempered by a harsh reality: that the isolation these species have benefited from is slowly disappearing as Southeast Asia develops. So you have dams that are coming in, you have roads, you have very large, large-scale agriculture taking place, mining. There is a plus for all of these. Of course, it brings economic development to this region. At the same time, it brings a lot of threats. To diminish those threats, the World Wildlife Fund is working with governments, banks, and nonprofits in the Mekong region to come up with models for sustainable development and growth that can benefit all sides. I think this is a signal that there is hope, actually, for biodiversity, and that it's not all negative.、Uh, what it really tells us is that there are places in the world that have remained untouched, and that if If we were to slow down a little bit and actually really invest in sustainability and sustainable growth, we would have a chance to make sure that they are protected as we go towards development. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.